<laughs> the last one was I'll soft, soft focus. <laughs> no, it just it's, moves it's, so goddamn much. Yeah, Ebra could do But yours is. Because I don't move. Well, it got focused. You like? It's okay. You mountain? What? You said you don't move. You just lean into frame. <laughs> like that one. I could be in both frames. This is good. Thank you. It's the little crisp bullshits on your face right now. Mm. It's never the mic. You you like, oh, this is where I'm going to be. And then you're like, it's never the I'm going to sit back here and talk. Bad. I'm going to black out in the bathroom. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight times. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Why did boy. I, you peed on your underwear. I peed onto my underwear. <laughs> Wait, here? Have, you, have you not done that? Yeah. No, the last time I came out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah that he peed on his pants. Yeah, Whoa. I like got up and pissed on them in the oh, morning. No, I, was yes. like, I was like, oh, I had to ring them up. Why are they so wet? <laughs> Chris is like, that's your piss, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm such a stop like it. <laughs> I thought it was like the review. It's racially ambiguous and batty. That guy's fucking ridiculous. And we don't know. Best not to ask yourself why. But my friend, you've arrived. Welcome to unsubscribe. <laughs> no, this, is, this is what we do. Uh. So blacked out in the bathroom, pissed on his pants. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think if I, I haven't done anything I got super, it. super dumb here. You're, have I? Not here. Not here. <laughs> but. Uh, I was at DreamHack uh, last weekend, got super drunk, and ended up climbing onto the roof of a building. I don't know how or which oh. building, but I was on the roof. Wait, what? what? Yeah, that's after the hangover right the last there. night. When did that oh. happen? When we all went back. You're or no, no, it was the first night when we got blackout drunk. Yeah, when you we were guys walking. went hard. Yeah, I... We had a bar with Ludacris. Yeah, That's there's a pretty, bar with Ludacris? That's pretty sweet. That was kind of cool. He uh, did like one half rap, and then he sat down and just drank a lot. And he smoked a lot. Smoked no, a lot. Small. That was like, like, hang on, what, like, were you guys, did he know you were hanging out with him? <laughs> no, we weren't <laughs> hanging just out with him. We, oh, were, okay. we, had, like, we were in a, uh, at a booth, and in he was booth, in the other booth. Okay, yeah, yeah, it is like yeah, I thought yeah. that. He was just Ludacris was like, there. You guys are like one selfie, like, with Ludacris. <laughs> I was just like, it's a, dude, it is that next level of like stardom though, because you got Fast and Furious series and then his music. Dude, yeah. dude he was just like, everyone's yep. just like standing there trying yeah. to just be like, to make eye contact Luda with him. Yeah. Luda Luda. Was, he, Luda. was he in Finding Forrester? <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Gump? No. <laughs> no. No, the Sean Connery movie. <laughs> That's a real movie? Yeah. yeah. I think he was. <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> I know you're a wizard and all, but like, are you with me right now? No, he was, in, he was really good. I remember he played a parking lot attendant. <laughs> was he? <laughs> I think I'm right. I don't know Finding anything about Finding Forrester? Like, this is like, like going to go two ways. It was a basket- driving around in his Forrester? It was a like- basketball movie. He played the main guy's brother, and he was like a parking lot attendant. I'm pretty sure. It was the American preview of Finding Nemo. Yeah. We have to look this up now because I'm sounding really weird. We, we it to, could be really racist. It's like, yeah, we bro, this is Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> we have to just cut this, this entire up. segment. He was in Ghost Dog, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A no, 2000 that was, <laughs> drama. Right? Finding Forrester, Sean yeah. Connery. Oh, thank Nailed you very it. much. Oh. Boom. Look I still you. think you're lying. I'm fine. I still <laughs> think you're <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm related to that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, go ahead and check that wet Welcome Wikipedia. Welcome to the Instagram Podcast. Uh. As always, Eli doubles up myself. Batty Streams. We have our two beautiful, powerful, strong, glorious, wonderful... Has a book guest. We got your narrator and Wes no, well, Parker. Well, no, I, I don't have a book. He has a book. Well, Wes has the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. just next to me, so yeah, I went you know, down the line. I, I was about to say, like, I, I I can't read. Can you sell my book for me though? He so no. narrates <laughs> your so book. Oh, yeah, narrate yeah. it. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Just read the back. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, the back. All right, Abraka Dumbass. Ooh, is a collection of hilarious and inspiring stories from Wes's decade-long journey to become one of the most popular comedy comedians. Just kidding. Magicians. Working today. Told you I couldn't read. (laughs) Period. Whether whether it's card (laughs) tricks for people at a sex club, private shows at a billionaire's castle, behind the scenes at America's Got Talent, all the devious secrets of making magic for TV, Wes Knowles, bleh, 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 try that again. Wes holds nothing back. You'll also get lessons from a master magician on showmanship, deception, and the power of being bold as Wes explains how he creates magic tricks, makes viral videos, fooled Penn and Teller, that's impressive, and teaches tricks you can perform. Wow, that was really good. Boom. I had to record my audiobook, and I spent the last 20 hours talking to myself, realizing I can't read out loud. Ooh. 
So I'm very just, impressed by that. Just, just, now you're like, can I pay you to yeah. narrate the entire <laughs> book? Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't need to sound that sexy. No. Like, did we pop the top already? No. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, we oh, fucking oh, up, bros. Oh, I've got sorry. vodka, oh, pineapple. Oh, wait. wait, watermelon. Water. I, I brought a button this time. I'm watermelon. Ready. Oh, oh see? Oh, nice. Yeah, ready? 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 One, two, three. Oh. <clears throat> mm. One. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What's he doing? Ooh. What is that? <clears throat> that was the worst product placement you have ever done in the history of Adderies. Uh -uh, that one time I had sex with it. We had a cut. <laughs> That one, that's just a fucking protein bar. Yeah. Is that bad? No, it's good. It doesn't taste like a secret bar. <laughs> is it I, bad? I love how you take no. a bite. Is it bad? <laughs> like you warned me. He's like, it's a protein bar. Are I'm you not okay that with protein? Fat, dude, I can handle eating some fucking protein every now and then. Wait, is your shirt got a, is it a rabbit? Head? It's a rabbit. It's just grumpy on it. Oh, I don't know why. That's a good shirt. That's awesome. There's a fly in here. I'm just I know, trying I'm to be cool. Fucking kill that fly. I hate that I'm bar. just trying to be cool. I don't know. I'm going to use your book to make this fly disappear. Absolutely, man. It's got to be good for something. Magic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, dude, welcome, welcome. How you oh. doing, buddy? You had your flight from fucking Toronto. I'm doing good. I got up at three in the morning. Today, so Ooh. far, I've had six pints, an espresso martini, and whatever these are. I need to ask a very important question, though. This morning, I saw an Instagram reel, or uh, uh, sorry, an Instagram story. Yeah. What did you pick? Coffee? So I, I, was I started it whiskey. Or it, was, it was it was whiskey or coffee because I was like it's three a.m. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, 3 well, yeah, I'm with you. Right? <laughs> so I was like, I start with the coffee. I'm like, ha ha ha. Then I'm like, fuck. I'm, little, <laughs> 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 I'm going to the airport. Oh, I'm, I'm not driving. Sure. Oh no. Uber, airport. I don't have to fly the plane. Nothing. So it's all good. Be, like everyone when they land, they're like, hey, in town. I read it. I'm like, cool. Thank you for texting me. He sends me a fucking DM on Instagram. <laughs> like, oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> I was like scrolling and it was like, I'm here after I scrolled like multiple things. I'm like, what the fuck? Why'd you send it here, bro? He's like, sorry, a bar kidnapped me. <laughs> like, I low level, I low level didn't want to meet him right away. I did want to go to this bar if I know. <laughs> so I just wanted to go drink by myself for a minute. <laughs> You want to drink by yourself for it? No, I, no, I get it. It's, it's totally fun. fun. It's, it's a normal thing that most men our age do. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, oh, I was just dying. I was like, oh. okay. Yeah, is that what it is? It's been a rough couple months. Bro, buy my book. <laughs> <laughs> we got bills out here. Lessmarker.shop. Link in the bio. Just fucking fly. Uh -huh. And this almost ended my, my, my relationship. So my mom and my, my wife were both debating who I would write the dedication to. Oh, mm. did you split is it? Is it me? Did you write it about me? Or to me. Uh, this is to unsell my favorite podcast. Yeah. It, and that, bottom, of it, it is, uh, it is, bottom of the it, barrel. It is. It is. It is. It is a bit devastating for them. Yeah. Bottom of the barrel podcast for sure. It should be the first thing that you see when you open. Is it to Chris? I hope no, it's to Chris. No, that's not the forward. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Pass the forward. All right. Wait, wait. Keep going. No. No. From what? Why is it not in there yet? No. Is it not in the book? Oh, that's even worse. Just doing it? <gasps> no. It didn't get printed. I mean, there's this. What? Like, that is going to create a but, lot of issues but, now. No, no, no there it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. To Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> who's up on our wall. You may be handsome, talented, charming, and tall, but I'm a better magician. Unless you buy this book, then I'm totally fucked. That is a wonderful dedication. <laughs> Thank you very that much. That is perfect. <laughs> so, nobody wins but Ryan Hold Reynolds. On, your hair looks just as good still. I'm a little upset. That's a six-year-old photo, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Batty, completely <laughs> forgot. Uh, I just realized Grant's... I was wearing my fucking glasses this whole time. I yeah, thought you thought were... That was your thing. Uh, Sorry. I was like, oh, he's going for a look. God. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Danny, Danny wears his sunglasses and a leather jacket on the podcast. Mm -hmm. That's true. We left Grant's food at... Um, Mm -hmm. BJ's, yeah. the food we ordered. Wait, we just got up and left it? So we yeah. left it, and then he was like, where are you? I'm at BJ's. I was like, Grant, we're at the podcast house. <laughs> 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 and uh, I was like, wait, what? Uh, he's myself. like, well, I'm here. I was like, fuck, wait, actually, this works perfect. Walk inside and say my name because they have your food. And they had his food. <laughs> they, I, I, I was like, honey, I, have a, uh, I might have food for uh, Eli. And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll check. They went in the back. Nothing. And I'm like, all right, is he this name? And they're like, I'll check. Went back again. Nothing. I texted you saying they don't know where it is. And then randomly, they found it in the back corner on a random fucking table. 
because they just put it back there. Was that not our table? Knowing. Did they, they leave it on the table yeah. we were eating at? Yeah, so they were just like, yeah. oh, here you go. And I'm like, cool, awesome. And in fairness, <laughs> he texted you and got no quicker response than me DMing you on Instagram. So that is it's, fuck you. Fuck you. Do you, you, <laughs> have, you, have, you have to call Eli. That, yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you, you really do. You really do. You, do. You're, you seem like a phone guy to me. I'm a phone He's guy. He's a yeah. FaceTime guy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. FaceTime. I like, I, like, I like going like, hi, how are you? Look, how you doing? You having a good day? It's I so will good. answer you, but you get what you get with that's, your FaceTime. <laughs> that's you get what you get. The it's always on that be pretty, this, but I'll This be is there. on you. That's you being like, I'm going to call him. Oh, no. First form gave us 15 seconds to do an ad. First form! Opti Green 50! Oh. <coughs> ah! <laughs> Micro Factor! Firstform.com slash unsubscribe! First form! Well, that's okay. I, one of my buddies, Josh, I, he does that all the time. He'll he'll wait until, because uh, he's an Australian, he waits until like 4 a.m. on the weekends and he'll FaceTime me and I'll be like, Josh, what's up? And he's just fucking full blown naked, sprawled out on like a inflatable on his, in his pool. And he's just like, I miss, <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> and I'm like, that's Josh. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you know that guy? Is it, like, he's part of the gr uh, little group that I'm part of. Oh, right on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Counting those. You got to have friends like that. If you can't have a friend, you can call them naked, then not your friend. Yeah, so. not your friend. <laughs> no. Never call me naked. I, my mom. Really? You guys Seriously? I. No. Why would why are we gonna call each other naked? What? You're not even see, that's just it. They're, you're not close as I thought you were. No. That's all right. We have sex. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have our pants oh, okay. oh. Good. We just poke our dick out through like oh. the whole oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. no skin we were touching. <laughs> no, no, no. We wear the butt flap. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off and on. Little butt flap PJs. It's a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, why did those go out of style? I, I, now no, you're saying it. I'm like, let's you're go. like, wait, let's bring those back. Let's go. You have those cool zipper jeans that go from like the front all the way to the back. <laughs> yeah, just open it. You up. have the cool like butt cheek I've windows. I've never seen those jeans. No. Have you never seen those? No. Oh, they're, they're crazy. They're more there's of a also girl thing. there's also some oh. jeans that have uh the like the plastic on the butt so you can see them as people are walking by. I call it the gas chamber. It's crazy. Imagine someone forcing that. It's, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's going to fog sealed. up. It's just going to fog up. Oh, my God. You're just going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <laughs> Did you fart? No. I, no. Uh, this is another thing I've never <laughs> seen nor heard of. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm lost. I'll, 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 show you. What I'll show you the ways after the podcast. I'll show you, I'll show you what's going on. Okay. First off, what magic tricks did you bring? Yeah. Also. Is that the only reason I get invited over yeah. here? Shut 100%. the fuck up. That we didn't it. ask you to speak. We asked you to do fucking magic. <laughs> Can you fair. <laughs> <Okay>. Dance. <laughs> Your little tisms like do it. Do it. <laughs> He's the frog. <laughs> Just doing his lays. <laughs> like, there we go. I, I, I actually I did bring one I could show you right now. Actually, this is good. Can you, you make my on? depression disappear? <laughs> <laughs> he hands a gun. <laughs> Caffeine will do it. Remember that uh, that chapter in the book I told you about? Yes. That's that. Oh, like, that. like that. Like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember what he was talking about on the... You're going to see it afterwards. During okay. Thing. What's right. happening? I, I missed I an inside joke. I don't know. Whoa, he's got red solo cups. That's mental. You're just drinking in the corner. That's not... It's not a trick, Wes. Well, I mean, that's been a trick I've been performing for years. <laughs> he just lines up shot. And he's like, You can one, make alcohol two. disappear. Okay. Okay. We All right. What do we, what, do, what do we got here? You and me, buddy. Here we go. Ooh. I, I, I teach this trick in the book. So okay. I'll show you guys here. So, All right. All so right. I can still pitch my book at the same time. You pour some water in a cup like this, right? Water. Yeah, in the cup, and then you got to move it around like this. And okay. you take. Are you right-handed? Left-handed? I'm. I'm right-handed. So take your right hand. You're gonna hold the cup like this on top of your head. Okay. Okay. It might hold be hard. Up. I got like a cave. Yeah, don't let. Don't, don't. Don't set. Don't set down. Hang on to it. Don't let it go. Okay. Right? All right. All right. Okay. And I, and you're gonna you're gonna do this. You're gonna move it around a little bit with your hand like this. Swirl. And I'm gonna say the magic words, which is like right. unsubscribe, but also then go subscribe to West Barker. It's fine. No, but westbarker.shop. Nice. Uh, that's the magic words. Yeah. Nice. And then you slowly turn the cup over, and the water will be vanished. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Bro, come on. Believe in me. How? Believe in yourself. Are you sure? <laughs> I think, Let's do it. I think we did it right. You gotta got, trust the magician. I'm, I'm wearing white pants. <laughs> yeah, do we now know. I want you to do it. You got it. Tim, you want me to do it? I'll, uh, no, I just, <laughs> look at. I'm gonna stare at you while I do this. <laughs> it's like sex. I, I don't know. The eye. I, I hope it works. <laughs> I teach it in the book. It better work. Let's do it. 180 that bitch. Don't slow port. Hey! What the fuck? It's a diaper. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I fucking hate kids so much. This is the only time I've ever bought a diaper in my life. Dude, the, the thing about that was that, like, I held it above my head, and I still felt, like, the heaviness to it. And I'm yeah. like, there's no fucking way but, this is going to do this. But is check, not out, a check trick. out, check out, check out, check out. Look at this one. You guys can see no diaper in that one. No diaper, nope, right? No, no diaper. diaper. Let's try it again, just for fun. Okay. Take it on top of your head like this. <laughs> we got to say the magic words. Westbarker.shop. Yeah. Yeah, you remember. Well, I got, I got, I got to spin it. I got to, yeah, yeah. stir no, the you pot. Did it all? So nice and slow. You should be able to turn it over. <laughs> should be gone this time. Should be gone this time. <laughs> I think so. Just fucking tip it. Hey! What? What? Wait, what Twice the fuck? in a row. Twice in a row. Hey, magic. What kind of bullshit yeah. is this? <laughs> Witchcraft. That's why I get invited here, isn't it? Anyway, dude, this is insane. It's all in the book, guys. Twenty nine <laughs> bucks. You can't go wrong. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I felt That's the, when I'm actually like, what the fuck? I felt the weight of the water as I tipped it. it well, like, I it like, he poured it, it right here. But then it just disappeared. He poured it right here. I'm, that's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate Where's that it. bottle oh that you God. put in Batty's butt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday on the drive home. We are like, uh, Batty, you should just put one up there and shit it out today. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I found it. <laughs> and it will scare them. Because then they'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 that would freak me right out. I would not like that at all. I would not like that at all. You, you I go from understand. I still get asked every single day. Yeah, that's great. Every day, where'd the bottle go? <laughs> find the bottle. Go. <laughs> like mother, it's been six months. It's Let still it. up there. Oh. It's digesting. Congratulations, <laughs> you've been promoted from magician to alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'll a wizard it. now, I'll Harry. Take it. I'll take it. Oh my god, yeah. it's, I don't trust that was anything. Cool. No, you shouldn't. It's not fake. I, I was here for an hour before you guys got here. I said a lot of shit. See that, dude? That's <laughs> what I said. No, I I've said, oh, motherfucker. I'm so mad right Ooh. now. Ooh. I was talking about Chris uh, and you yesterday. I was like. I bet they're going to be at the house or they were here before and they're hiding shit around this house, man. Like, <laughs> if, you guys did, if you guys had worse security, I would 100% come here <laughs> months before just to surprise you with one stupid ass trick. But your security is so good. Every time you come in, it's like announces you. You're like, fuck. <laughs> That's so oh, annoying, fuck. man. I would. Yeah, because you have like, beep, beep, it charms yeah, you're like, too. Oh. And you're like, yeah, you, you. This house is a fucking snitch. That's what this house is. Just, I just yeah, picture this whole you. I'm house like, is I text back. I'm like, why is Wes outside our house? Speaking of snitch, dressed we're as a hear bush. Shortly. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, yeah. The snitch is gonna go off yeah, shortly. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got someone oh. coming. I ordered energy drinks. Ooh, what was that? You both just got back from Japan. Oh, oh you were in Japan. You were too, dude. Let's go. So, okay, <laughs> when. I, are you going to make out? Maybe. That's what we do. <laughs> Anyone that's he been on go. Japan, you make out. You it's always on count of three. You got <laughs> one, three, make out. Three, three. Now oh. make out. Watch, oh, we'll show you. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, when I was in... Okay, Chris, I went with uh, Chris Ramsey. Me mm. and him were in Japan making a documentary about because he solves puzzles on YouTube, right? Cool, cool. And, and we were like, a lot of the good ones come from here. So we went to that town where they made them. Mm. First day we get there, we get, we're just walking in the middle of Tokyo and we run into like half of Mr. Beast's team. What? Yep. And what? They were like, yeah, they like were... hey, Carl, what the fuck? And they're like, hey. And, and they're like, what do you guys, like, there's 29 million people living in Tokyo. Yep. Why we walk down the same street at the same time? And we're like, like we're making a video. We're like, us too. Bye now. And we just passed each other. Just so passed, the yeah. fact that you were there does not even surprise me now. No, like we, as soon as we got there, uh, we li we literally saw the screenshot of like him and PewDiePie at the, at the wheel. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, so we were all there at the same time. We then? were all there at the same time. Oh my God. And so you... it was like, we were like, oh, well. Of course, we have to do it. So we went to that wheel and just like <laughs> recreated it in a stupid way. And we were like, who did it better? But uh, most no, it, bizarre thing happened to you. What was the most bizarre thing for Japan? Bizarre thing? Like weirdest cultural, like, whoa. Sorry. Ooh, the weirdest cultural. Okay, so I would say that like the weirdest cultural thing that I, that I experienced in Japan is that even when the people were racist, they were nice about it. <laughs> okay. Like, 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 like the cab drivers, they would see that we were white and they would look at us and, and automatically assume that we don't speak Japanese, which is a rightful assumption. <laughs> um, but they would see us like it was pouring rain, wearing all the little umbrellas and they would look at us and go, uh, no, and cross their arms with an X and be like, mm. no, so sorry. No, no English. No, mm. like we need to, taxi no and then they drive off oh. but or they would like skip us and then just like pick somebody else up that was speaking japanese which i was like at first i was kind of pissed off but then i thought about it and i was like you know what 
number one, you're you're a taxi driver. That's already stressful yeah. enough. And then you have to deal with people who you can't actually talk to. Yeah. I'm like, I get it. I get <laughs> dude, it. Dude. Oh my god. Chris and I are in a taxi. We're heading out uh, out to this like um Hakune, I think it's called. It's like a really smaller town. It's like way yeah. way out. And uh we're in this cab and and it's a lot further than we think. And I look in the meter and the meter's going up and up and up. And I'm like, and I take my Google Translate and I'm looking at all the signs. I'm like, it's cash only. Yeah. And Chris is like, yeah, yeah. I, I noticed that earlier. And you he, have no and then, and then like we're can't we're counting like our money out. And then I'm like, how much you got? He's like, we're all in the back and we're getting closer and closer. And I'm looking at the meter and I'm like, and stop. <laughs> no. There you go. <laughs> The, the, the you're just on the drive. Like, no, 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 no. And then he just stops like, oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Here you go. And yeah. we got out and I'm like, this is where we are now. Oh, yeah. We are walking because fuck this. One of, one of, like, and it's cool because like when you get the yen, you're like, the exchange rate's awesome. Yeah. So you're like, you're thinking like, wow, we're I'm loaded. Balling. We're balling yeah. here. But then the mo- it goes by, especially in taxis, really, really fast. So you're like, oh, 500 yen, no problem. Now it's a grand, no price. It's 10,000. That's $100 and yeah. it's 15. Yeah. And now we're here. Yeah. And those coins get you at first because you're like, I'll pay with coins. Well, Canada, you already have high dollar coins. America's like 25 cents. Oh, right. So those oh. dollar coins or whatever they have, ew, two dollar coins, right? In Japan, up to. They they have. Uh, it's called yen. Yeah, yen. They yeah. have they have five. <laughs> I, yes, I know. Yeah, they have the, they, they, they got two dollar coins in Japan, idiot. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, they yeah, they have the hundred yen. Uh, they have all the ones, but the main ones that we used were the hundred yen ones because they fit like they used yeah. for like any vending machine, and then the uh, two fifty, uh, the five hundred yen, oh, yeah, and then the we then we just use like a thousand yen bills for like yeah, everything the bills else. is all. It, how much is a thousand yen? Uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah, it's a good conversion. It's easy to do in your head. Take two zeros off. Yeah. Yeah. But it will it will trick you out a little time a couple times, right? Because the yeah, prostitutes yeah. are telling you one price, and then you're like, <laughs> you're like, like, that sounds like a sweet deal, you know? All right, and yeah. then they get you. No, <laughs> did you go into a Lawson's when you were there? Is that the brothel? No. Oh, no. Why'd you bring this up twice? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was me both times. God damn! Ooh. No. No, 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 Magic, um, <laughs> magically, my conscience is clear. <laughs> um, but ooh, look at that! It's for you. Oh, take that! All right, but I uh, Lawson's was like oh, their oh, version oh. of because uh, they have Seven Elevens and they also have like Lawson's, like a little gas. Yeah, station, I've been to like, Lawson's. This thing it looks like English, but it's. Uh, I had so many pork cutlet sandwiches <laughs> when I was there. It was ridiculous. They were only five bucks, and it was just like every day. It was amazing. You had these two. What you can you there? buy with one? Dude, the food. The food? A singular, like a like, like only a penny? one yen, like one, like a one grain of rice. Yeah, one grain of rice. That's Pro- right. probably. Yeah, I think it's like this nothing. I don't. I never saw anything for the less. Fu- the food is absolutely amazing. Like the Seven Elevens, we talked about oh. that. Did you go eat at the Seven Elevens? Even no, bro, this- bro. Fucking, yeah, did I miss out somehow? Yes. I've never been to Japan. This is bullshit. <laughs> Batty, the, Batty's the one now just like, oh, they're it's having fun dumb. talks. Dude, well, the 7-Elevens, the what? 7-Elevens, the restaurants, the pizzas, yep. uh, the curries. Yep. Just everything. You missed out. If you didn't. Why? I, I went for Japanese food, my friends. Oh, my God. The Japanese food. Again, yeah. the sushi. Yeah. The, the ramen, the sushi, oh, the whatever. Rice. Yeah. Yo, ch- oh, this is insane. Uh, we go to the restaurant one day, yep. and Chris is like, "Let's just, you know, we're, we're both pretty adventurous, and when we're there, we're like, let's eat whatever, right? So we're like, we'll just get whatever. Uh, and we're, the guy comes, we're just like, point at this, point at that. We don't read any of these words. Nope. Whatever. And Buddy's like, oh, this, 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 blah, 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 sashimi. We're like, yeah, we like sashimi. Sure, bring it. Brings it out. I'm like, oh, this looks good. I start eating it, and it, I think it's tuna sashimi. I start eating it. Chris is looking at it, he goes, looks like chicken, dude. And I was like, there's no such thing. What do you mean, chicken sashimi? Mm, that's not a thing. I'm just eating it, chomping on it. And then <laughs> Chris is like, and he like grabs his phone, Google Translate on that menu. He's like, that's fucking chicken, dude. <laughs> and I'm literally just eating it. What? And he's like, I'm like, it tastes so good. How and is then, it? Dude, dude it's it was so, on the, it, oh it, my God. It's not rubbery at all. It doesn't taste like raw chicken like you think it does. It, it's like just melting your mouth like fucking yeah. tuna, just falling apart. And I was like, uh, but I was just like, I don't know if I can. I, and I already uh, eat some. Uh, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I can. And that's then, scary. Yeah, yeah, now that you know, you're like. Chris is on it. He orders a, a, a thing that comes on one of those like, sizzling hot plate things. Yeah, yeah the hot plate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and we were pretty sneaky about it. But the one time the lady comes by and she sees us 
sashimi grade chicken and we're just burning it ourselves in this hot pan and just eating it. <laughs> she was like these fucking okay, what is, what is it mean sashimi grade chicken? It's still raw chicken though, right? Well, it's how it's prepared because the disease, uh, E. coli is because yeah. the processing plants and everything. Salmonella. Yeah, what, salmonella. Yeah, that's the word you're looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, like... <laughs> Doesn't E. coli come with that no, too? No, it's just because it has Eli and it doesn't mean it's... Like, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> you fucking narcissist. Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> Where's your next <laughs> magic trip? You <laughs> <laughs> existential crisis <laughs> over ages. Uh, Who has man. their book in front of the fucking table right now? You <laughs> <laughs> fucking narcissist. It's all right. We can only see his face. <laughs> hey, let's yeah, do a right. magic book with my face on the front. I'll narrate it too. <laughs> Not got a professional narrator to narrate it. Oh, I fucking killed this. This is a, this is going to go real good for me now. I don't care what happens. Hey, I'll derail this whole fucking thing. <laughs> oh jeez! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they. It, okay, when you when you're eating this and then you start googling it frantically, uh, it says like J Japan's the only place in the world they have chicken sashimi. Mm. The chickens are specially raised, and it's an island. It's all isolated. They're cut off from salmonella. Then you Google it, and all of the Googles are like, "Don't eat it if you're not from there." Like they can eat it, sure, because they're used to it. Their gut biome's different than yours. Don't fucking eat it. And then it lists like thirty thousand times it's gone wrong. And I was like, Ugh. so I had like one piece. So I had no choice. I was already, I had already eaten it. It was, it was good. It was, it was good though. It was yep. so good. See, we, uh, they have. Let's go back and have it, let's, man. Let's, let's, let's do just it. do it. Let's do it. We, I, Jimmy Gray, did, yeah. did you get the? We got to bring. We're bringing Batty though. Yeah, oh, one hundred percent. Batty, will you Yay. eat it? I want to go to Japan. Yeah. We'll go. We'll go. They have pork. The Jimmy Gray pork. I never knew that. I never tried the pork yet either. So that was one of the first restaurants we went to. It was, it's like chicken. I was like, no. Why the fuck would I ever? And then I seen pork. I was like, nope. That's even worse. We're gonna pass on that, but then you get the food. The sh the sushi is even at the airport is better than our four yeah, or five star so, American totally. restaurants, and it sucks fucking hates you're like, <laughs> totally. you're like, God damn it, this is so delicious. The Seven Elevens. Did you go to McDonald's or anything either? No, bro. Did you? The food is no, no. I I did it. It it, it was still like, yeah. Nah. Wait. The McDonald's was okay. I brought Evans yours. <laughs> you just that's forgot. Water. You forgot. I was so you could participate in the shot. Yeah, I wanted my. Yesterday. I was being. Don't drink it yet. It's water. I'm making sure it's water. Well, I, that's fair. No, that's a that's, fair assumption. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. You've been to this house before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, tequila has a very tequila smell. To it. Well, that's why I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, boys, guys! Yeah. Thank you for coming. I, yeah. Thank you. I can't believe it. Three thousand <laughs> like, dollar uh, appearance fee. I said no. enough times on air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that's so generous, boys. Just I like, couldn't really? believe it I when they like, said it. I can what? pay my like mortgage. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. wow. I was like, that's too generous. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop. I couldn't I possibly. Oh, 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 man. Why was that so bad? I don't I was know. A, I liked it. That was a that was yeah. a good one. I, like I love it. I like most, it. most. I normally do. Ooh. Most crazy thing you did in Japan? Go. That, no, I told you. Was that it? Yeah, the eating the sashimi the, was <laughs> rough. <on my laughs> <head. Broth. laughs> <laughs> no, the ever got a raw fish. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think for me that was that. Uh, everything else sort of nothing threw me into a panic like that. Did yeah. you just Mister Miyagi a fly? Bro, I just caught. It wasn't the big one. It was another like fruit fly buzzer. I just caught it and crushed it in my hand. I Ooh, fucking love that. It's because the shirt. <sighs> we we say Japan <laughs> enough, and then, and then you're like, we say Japan. <laughs> 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 he pulled out chopsticks. He's like, uh, <laughs> fucking dexterity <laughs> raises by ten. Just. <laughs> Camera cuts that Batty has tape on his eyes. Like, Batty, get rid of the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joke finally hit. Yeah. So we're like, one, what? two. Ha! 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 You gotta go sideways. <laughs> it worked it great. Were, they killed another really fly. Good. That was right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it cut off its wings mid flight. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. God I want to go to Japan, man. That, that is without a doubt. Australia and Japan, two of the, yeah. the places mm -hmm. I've wanted to go more than anything. I will say one thing about Japan that's insane to me is it's 129 million people, right, on yep. a little island, and they and they so they, respectful. They don't clean. they don't Dude. need us. No. Okay, like like their culture, even though it's one little fucking island, like it looks like the size of New Zealand or whatever, but it's like you know way more people. But they've affected our world. You can't yep. go anywhere without seeing Japanese culture, whether it's fucking anime or the I mean, food. Look, look or at our backdrop. Look at your backdrop. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yep. Like. Look how people dress, like everything. Fucking 
and, and it's we it's amazing how it's so small and then it's just affected everybody. They don't need us, they don't care. They're, they're happy that we come, they want oh, I should look around. I mean, sure. we did that too in America. Look at there's McDonald's everywhere. You're That's welcome. True. You're oh, welcome. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we affected yeah. Uh, obesity. And yeah, no matter how fat you are in your country, you're still skinny us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's our slogan. That's gonna be the new unsub shirts of Merck. <laughs> My wife's always like, Wes, you put on like twenty Fatter pounds. You. I'm like, let's move. <laughs> If I put on 20 pounds in Canada, let's go. You're Time to get out of here. You'll still look great. You're in great shape right I, now. I'm yeah. proud. Thank honestly. you. I'll take it. I'll take Looking it. Yeah. Clean. Right? Dude, Japan, what's crazy is the clean, like, oh my God. The cleansliness. It, mm-hmm. And they don't have trash cans outside. Nope. And then, but when you have trash, you just put it in your pocket. Everyone carries trash yeah. with them and they don't throw it on the ground. Everyone's super respectful. And then when you get in your, your uh, train systems or subways, no one talks. It's fucking I dope. Yeah, I live for that. Crazy. Yeah, Australians already broke that. I didn't like that. At my all. my group was the asshole. Uh-huh. Oh, see, I was they, like trying they to be were, so respectful no, to same. everyone. They, it was, uh, it, yeah. I would Bully? Go, oh. d- everyone. Yeah. I, it would, yeah. yeah. Chris it was, was fun. Though. It was fun, though. I did it, I did it a little bit <laughs> when I was like, I was, I, we were having fun and like we were laughing and giggling. And then I got on the train. I was like, <laughs> mm. Eli, do you know this episode is brought to you by Manscaped? Eli? (sighs) Looks like the carpet does match the drapes. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to remind you to check your golden nuggets this month for anything not so golden. His are golden, just red. And while you're down there... (laughs) Shave your balls while you save your balls. Support a good cause and go over to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB to get 20% off plus free shipping. Homies trim each other's balls. (laughs) (laughs) Eli, did you know one guy every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? That's ball cancer. I did not know that. That's terrifying. This is a reminder for you and all you men out there. Check your golden nuggets. Do you know how to check for ball cancer? Well, that's easy. When you're in that shower, get that water nice and warm. Give those little nuts a little play with. Uh, Who doesn't like playing with the balls? This guy. I, I like it. And if it hurts, go see a doctor. Or have your buddy do it. Together, we save balls. Battle buddies for life. To help remind you guys to check yourself for testicular cancer, for a limited time, you can get the special edition TCS Lawnmower Trimmer 4.0. It's purple and looks dope. One of our colors, actually. This special edition is a collectible item. Only 10,000 units are going to be made. So get yours today before they're gone. With the launch of their special edition purple Lawnmower 4.0, Manscaped will be donating $50,000 to their longtime partner, the Testicular Cancer Society, to help those impacted by testicular cancer. Get 20% off and free shipping when using code UNSUB at manscaped.com. I repeat, go to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB to get 20% off and free shipping. Make sure you go out there and tell your buddies to go check their balls or check them for them. Check your boys and check your boys' boys. Check your boys' boys. <laughs> check your boys' boys. That's the new saying. It's just <laughs> check your boys' boys. <laughs> Get yeah, note phone. So, like, put phone. So Sorry. One, one time on the train, we're sitting there, and this uh, the, the seat opens up next to me, and this old woman gets on old as fuck, bent over. She's like, sees the seat, and she starts going towards it, and this like 20, 21 year old girl sees her and runs and charges and sits down, and this is like I'm like whoa, like call me a reverse racist, but like I didn't think Japanese people reverse behave racist. like that. You know what I mean, right? Like I I thought they were just nicer than that. I didn't reverse realize they were. Like, I didn't realize they were like the rest of us, right? (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, they're like this everywhere. This is crazy. This is insane. And Chris sees it. He's fucking appalled, but it's dead silent, like you said. So no one says shit. It's like, it's just like a quiet New York subway where everyone's just minding their own business all of a sudden. And then Chris gets up and this old lady like bows so many times to him and sits down. And then, and then she did, she, me and Chris spent the rest of the time just staring at this young girl <laughs> just quietly. It was awesome. fucking mean money. I was like, this is, just, I was like, this is so cool. Like we're like, I'm like, we're on the right side of history. You know, oh, and like, when they I, came, I, yeah. <laughs> finally, the white guy on the right side of history. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we looked at each other. We're like white people. 
people <laughs> high five in the air. No, we didn't. <laughs> high five the white guys. No, 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 no. no, no, no sorry, no, white no, guys. No, 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 no. Canadian, Canadian. It's a trap. He's not white. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, <laughs> you got me again. <laughs> this lighting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eli, oh. fine. Racist. Uh, the tequila was a giveaway. But it's crazy how many times they say, are you, are you writing down that joke? I, no, I have to write down a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't say it out loud. <laughs> Arigato. But they're like, go me this, go me that. Like, arigato. They'll just thank you over and over. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I'm like, I felt like, am I, am I doing the, am I doing too much of the thank youing? You know, I felt weird. But no, they're no, so respectful. That's why one of my favorite stories of when we renamed the bar in Kyoto because it was if you bought the I've most rounds seven hundred times, but if you buy the bar up. Oh, around for everyone in the bar the most you get a rename the front of the bar like they go outside and that change is the cool. fucking thing so we changed it to princess buttercups bar in tokyo or kyoto that's amazing and we got the owner drank with us and got fucking i don't shit hold on i don't remember you ever telling me the name that you named it princess buttercup yeah that was the name of one of my childhood cats oh princess buttercup that's literally bar's name Whoa. princess buttercup <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, there we go. I did not know my sister named Boom. it. But it was a boy, just to be very clear, named Princess Buttercup. It was a boy bar. I think. Whisk. I don't know. <laughs> <Whisk. laughs> <laughs> no, fine. Dudes can be princesses. Yeah, it's cool. Listen, it's 2023. People can, be, <laughs> yeah. Pe people can be whatever they want, all right? As long as I can still she them titties, all right? <laughs> yeah. That's all that matters. That's all. She, she them? Or see? I think it's she Sean Connery. That's, them that's the joke. Titties. Okay. Was that was great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was like very she she correct. Them. She <laughs> Dude, Thank you made uh, And then yeah. the, did you guys go to the all you can drink bars? They were like twenty five bucks. No, we were we were we had very specific list of things. Because Chris was shooting a documentary for his YouTube channel, which is actually fucking good. I hate to say nice things about my friend, but it was really good. And uh, so I mean, he, he's, he was he's cute. He was like, very specific about what we were doing, and he had all things sort of like we're gonna meet this person, this person, this person. And uh, we had like one day off, so I'm like, we're just like in Rapungi, it's like a part of Tokyo. We're like, we'll go there. And just out for a drink, and we walk into the first place we go into. This guy's like Chris Ramsey, and then and then he's like Chris hey. Ramsey, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so no. glad you did that. No, thank <laughs> you for saying. <laughs> that. I don't think he was like, "Hey, Chris Ramsey, it's yeah. good to see you." Yeah, yeah. Wow, the Japanese yeah. guy speaks really good English. <laughs> the funnier part of the story is he is white. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> but he said it like you said. So he must have been there a while. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he just took us on this bar call. That was our one free night, but we ended up hanging out with like all Americans, Australians, like all tourists that yep, night. Yep. So we didn't really get into the thick of it. We just went to every tourist destination. Still a fun time, but like that was like our free night. And mm. we didn't really so the rest of the time we were meeting up with specific people and then they were taking us to places that was always very like local and important to them. Mm. So we didn't get we missed a lot of the major highlights. We have to go back next year. I, I swear to God, we're gonna go back because we we missed all the major highlights. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go next month. Yeah. We'll just pay for everyone. <sighs> now we're talking. As soon as you said that, as soon as you threw it, he's like, I can't. Money. Okay, now I I'm said, fine. Now I can go. Oh, my I just freed up my free. schedule. Freed yeah. up a couple Grant, days. Grant, you Sorry down? Sorry to everyone who's got to go huh? to his comedy show. You down? Next you want to go? For Japan? when? When? Whenever. Whenever. Well, yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, just yeah. Say done. Yes. Say yeah. yeah that's yeah. You Haven't you ever say. seen Jim Carrey's fucking awesome movie, Yes Man? That's be a yes man. Thank you. Yes, there. It will. You makes me so goddamn mad about every time you get. No, fuck you. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> Fuck you! Zodiac Every time signs. you get animated talk, your hair does this bobble thing, and then lands perfectly. <laughs> no, back. It's not doesn't come Dude, on, it's guys. That you're literally so perfect. Character. I can't have that quaff hair. Slower. I never noticed that. It just <gasps> did it though. It was like this is like a full Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, a little. <laughs> Dude, I'm 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 I'm, I'm popping those don't lose your hair pills every day. So I think it better stay with me, man. So appreciate you shouting it out. How many uh, polygons you got in that hair right there, <laughs> bro? That's some luscious. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I, I talked about it. We were eating food. And I was like, man, you got gray hair. Yeah, just, we weren't even it. filming. I thought you were just being no. I just normal. Watched, I'll I'll I wasn't even it. listening to you. I was just watching your hair flow. <laughs> How many frames a second are we shooting this thing in? Sixty now. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Nice. Dude, punch it. Give me the slow mo on that shit. 
<laughs> Can't wait to see your forehead in 4K. Yeah, pretty shiny. Sometimes. So did you uh, you stay in Tokyo the last night? We did two days in Tokyo, two days in Odawaru. Mm-hmm. Hey, nice try, Wes. And then two days in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So yeah, we Japanese just, name, white guy voice. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Last day was the free day was in Tokyo. You probably did. Did you go to there's the white I I just oh the tourist area in that Tokyo mm, area where all the area. bars are. There's yeah. Shinjuku, there's Rapungi, those are Shinjuku, the two main. So Shinjuku, Shinjuku, yeah, Shinjuku yeah, yeah. has the area that has a lot of the um like it's there's like three seaters. Tours. Yeah, you just walk in. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. bar's batty. The bars are three seats, like, and they're open yeah. to the outside. There's no wall closing. You just walk up and sit down at the bar. Yeah. There's like three seats, and it will say English speaking. Please, please come. Did a yeah. lot. Of oh no, I get yeah, a lot yeah, of those. Yeah. Please come. A lot. Of a lot them. of please coming. A lot. Oh, of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was there was a lot of weird like little nook and cranny bars, like especially when I was like, all right, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back. We got to film tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Like, cool. I go back home, about to fall asleep. It's 1.30 in the morning. Get a text from Juicy. Bing! It shows him, and he goes, I just drank seahorse. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? And they have... They just... They oh. have... At this bar, they have, like, rattlesnakes and seahorses and jars with alcohol. And he's just like, I drink a seahorse. <sighs> and he just... And he actually drank the seahorse. That's so fucking and good. I, and it's just like... I want to drink a seahorse. If you go to sleep in Dude. Japan, you missed something. Okay, it's not like there's no. I'm time. great at not sleeping. Don't go to sleep. You're gonna miss something. Dude, He's like su- that. That's amazing. The Sunday morning. Were you guys there on Sunday morning? I don't know, dude. Sunday morning. You would know because in <laughs> Koinji, where that's where we were. That was that. Those Japanese people go fucking hard. They like work really hard for those six days. Yeah. And then the day of rest, I walked out. It was seven in the morning. I was like, ugh. Yeah. There's a fucking dude in front of 7 Eleven just <laughs> peeing. There's guys passed out on the street and there's girls walking like they're just getting home. They're like stumbling. It was like, yeah. oh, this is when they let go. Holy yes. Yeah. Fuck, they, they went hard. hard. Oh, yeah. But we, the 7 Eleven pee guy, like, did not know. My people. Dude, he was in front of the 7 Eleven. I'm like, oh, that guy's peeing. Yeah. At me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's his penis. <laughs> <laughs> What's his they, they, they show, <laughs> Mom, I, I want to know. Is it true? <laughs> they showed it. They were showing us their every night. They showed us like the, the same pee? drinking game. Yeah. You might have seen it too. They, I think they all do it. Uh, they drink as much as you can, as fast as you can, for as long as you can. Yeah, that's their fucking only drinking game. But, yep. And then that's what they do. It's, it's called drink. I play yeah. it. Oh, you do it too. I, I play it most nights. Well, alone. they they, they <laughs> literally when they get off work, that's what they're doing. And they're just like, yeah, we're going out and then drink. And you're like, oh, because like I'm like trying to pace myself. They're like, why? Don't Kompai, worry about it. Don't, pie, don't Kompai, worry about it. Yeah. Kompai, yeah. Kompai. I, I love it because you're Cream pies? Cream pies. It started making me, me wonder, like, what are, we, what are we pacing ourselves for? Oh, they're yeah. Like, they're like, let's all just drink all of it right now. And whatever happens, happens. I'm like, that is a better plan. I oh, love good. that plan. Like, instead of accidentally getting sneaky drunk late in the night, we know it's going to happen. We yep. all set out together. Teamwork. I don't know. We were there I, during what's known as Golden Week. And that's when they get, like, the week off. Oh, my oh. God. And so it was like, as soon as we, like... When we were really going in there, Tokyo became from it went from popular to damn near like you couldn't move without being squished, and I was it was just insane. But we did like it. The different cities were very cool because they're really different as far as like Tokyo was obviously tourist mm-hmm. attraction, very big, lots of people. Um, and then Osaka was like a little bit of both, where it was like it still was like nice city, it was pretty big, but like you can move around and it was fine. Kyoto was the tree, like super traditional city where like I walked around with the tattoo and they were like, whoa, and like they were freaking out. Oh, yeah. You can't go in the onsens or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't. They did not allow that. But but you can rent private private onsens and then you can just go go for it, which is not as much fun. Most of us learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I dropped out of high school. Infantry. Now thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. I went from Como Te Lama to Como Te Amos. Spanish, Eli. Oh, I don't speak Japanese. Now thanks to Babbel. There's an addictive, fun, and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or just have a little bit of free time, Babbel teaches you bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. 
Mayamo Eli. Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it a perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Babbel's expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. You learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, and business or podcasts. <gasps> With Babbel, you can choose up to 14 different languages. This includes Spanish, French, German, and Italian. What? Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. I love a good accent. So we were out there doing that. We, we did like sumo wrestling with sumo wrestlers, <gasps> and they're strong. Shut the fuck up. They're I want to see that so bad. What? Yeah, we did. We did I that. Trust, we did. I haven't heard anything from your Yeah, that's oh, why I was oh, like, this yeah. is perfect. Yeah. We don't know anything going go. on. Really quick. Uh, no, list off. Number one, time. Uh, I proposed. So now I'm engaged. Yeah. So Sumo oh, wrestling yeah. loved it. Sumo wrestling, yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> but uh, I, I, we sumo wrestled. Congrats, we, by the way. Yeah, yeah thank that's you. Amazing. Appreciate it. No one said congrats. You guys I mean, are I fucking dick. Well, I was I actually amazed the by the ring. Is actually pretty. Oh, very rarely yeah. am I amazed well, over yeah. a dude's ring. Right now, yeah. when he announced, that's it. fucking you sick. Say congrats, it, man. Don't touch you. Congrats. Don't touch oh, it. I wanted to touch you. But you good luck. But we did like we fought with sumo wrestlers. Uh, we went to the brothel. What is it? Not the brothel. Why? Because he just got engaged. It's <laughs> okay. You don't want to accept the culture? Fine. <laughs> no, I know that's fine. That's fine. Racist. But we did. Uh, we we did. like a, a little card placard to put in front of who's the racist at this. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. move it. It's, it's like, like oh, me. here goes Eli making the voice again. <laughs> just yeah. guess who? Uh, but we, we did. Uh, we we did the, the drifting school. So we uh, we drifted with professional drifters uh, and learned how to drift. Was uh, the drift king there? Uh, yeah. Oh fuck! I'm gonna, why can't I remember the Drift King's name? Oh. He's what he invented I drifting wanted, from Japan. I'm, I'm not so sure. embarrassing. Maybe. That, isn't I know. It? Oh, oh, that's not. I wonder it. if Let's you know. It. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, we, we, we did play <laughs> that. Though. Race this card to you. <laughs> 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 The song when he's got the. It the, wasn't the, even in Tokyo, bad. <laughs> Tokyo Drift! Uh, no. Need for Speed! No. We did, uh. Oh, God, what else did we do? We did, did the uh. The Hulk fucking Honda Element or whatever the fuck that thing was? <laughs> Come on! Honda Element. Oh, we for ate, sure uh. Was. We ate Fugu. So that was terrifying. The, that the, the most, the super poisonous fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. And, uh, and no, we were. Charlie, no, the no, Fugu fish. No. Some more. Gotcha. But uh, the 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 <laughs> chef there was like, uh, we were like, how long have you? Does it take you to like get certified and stuff like that? And he was like, fifteen. And we're like, oh, so like you've been doing this for fifteen years? That's crazy. He's like, no, fifty. He's been working on one fish for fifty. That's years. Japanese culture, though. That is wow. Japanese culture. So we were so, and, and like normally I don't eat fish, but we were doing it for the video. And I looked at I looked at this really old Japanese man, this professional chef, and I'm like. There's no way I'm about to look this man in the eye and yeah, tell him I'm yeah. not going to eat this. He'd kill you. Yeah. So I, 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 I ate that. I ate that fugu. But you I, know, just, but you, I pictured this this old man. He's like, no, he was well, he was no, like, give the racist but then it's, he's doing then it. It's give this, the racist card. Then he like <laughs> tosses the fish. Like, Ching! It just like falls into. He's like perfectly cut. I feel like <laughs> oh, gonna I feel like there's gonna be, there's gonna be a uh, uh, there's a, a part where. He, there's a part where everyone gets too old, you know? And yeah, yeah, there's going to yeah. be a tourist there being like, look how long he's been doing it. And then huh. that'll be the day where he's like, I don't remember the moves. <laughs> yeah, then he's like, <laughs> and then he's like, and you die. Right? It was like, the milky eyes that gave, gotcha. No, it's yeah. the milky eyes. He's <laughs> just cutting the wrong thing. He's like, the fishes are done. His thumb's <laughs> gone. <laughs> you bite it, you die. He's, yeah. just, yeah. he's, just, he's just sitting here like... Who's a fish is this? Who's a, who's a fish is this? No, 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 my Metamuso? Stop funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stick with not doing the yeah, accent yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I like everyone's line. Like, yeah. so sure. different. Like, a narrator does a really good Japanese oh, accent. He's supposed to be like, part oh, of the job. Like, that I, makes I sense love it. Yeah. No, we, 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 did, we went to like this uh, one island that was an Ginger. hour flight out of Japan. Uh, that had only like 4,500 people that lived there. And there was like a haunted, uh, uh, what is it, resort that used to be there. Uh, and we just walked in there at nighttime, which is Wow, what is it? What is it? What is that called? That's crazy. Legal? legal? Technically legal. Why is there... Why is there a haunted place there? So what it is is that the... Like, like, uh, why would there be, right? So what it is is that the... Hiroshima? <laughs> no. is, that what you, is that what you're saying, Maddie? Is that what you're, is no. that what you're saying? I, but... 
No, that but it's might like, be they, they made a so it was a gigantic uh like I am this. not from this country. I'm a Canadian. I don't know politics. I'm no. Canadian. You're still involved in World War II, motherfucker. I don't know. What, I, 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 I'm I, ignorant. Ah, fuck yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ignorant. Bottom line, it was it was it was really fun. We did a lot of wacky scenarios and and ate a bunch of weird shit. Was it haunted though? Yeah. It was you like did you feel the hauntedness? Uh there, there was there was a lot of like different stuff uh where the the most cool, like weirdest thing is that like we walked into a room that was like it was the door was bar uh, like barricaded so we like unbarricaded it. Uh, and you we walk in? No, we unbarricaded it. <laughs> and we we, so walk, we did in Iraq a yeah, lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we unbarricaded doors. Yeah, but we a couple twelve gauge slugs. <laughs> yeah. But what's really weird War is that like <laughs> That's funny, that's why the hotel's not in <laughs> War crimes. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, 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 but uh. me and me and Josh walked in and like cause we've heard like like a couple sounds, you know, things move, we were like, oh, it's old, whatever. But me and Josh walked in there, and at the exact same time, we could have swore we saw like something like run past on the ground, like crawling. Oh fuck that! And, and, then, it, fuck and that. then it went into the wall, and it was just <laughs> gone. And you can see it in the footage because the video's up. Both me and Josh at the same time looked at the same spot and screamed because we saw it. <laughs> so we were like, "I don't, I don't want to be here." But it was all there was also that extra level of fear where it was like heaven forbid we're technically not supposed to be there and the like the only police that are on that island like we're at their mercy. Right. So like they could take all of our footage, take everything, delete it all, and then I just uh, then arrest you. Yeah. What, just, what are you saying? Yeah, what, what are you laughing about here? The, the little scary Japanese girl goes. <laughs> She's like waiting to scare you, and she's like white people, <laughs> like you white the people, and scurries off into the wall, disappears. Like you terrified her instead. It was like reverse scare. <laughs> the ghost we, is just hanging out there to scare some Japanese we, people. We did, we white did people the, terrify her though. We did the toilet ghost <laughs> I don't know lore, why. and that was funny. It's in my it's in my brain. I'm dumb. <laughs> fucking hate your brain so much. <laughs> we should change the name from unsubscribe to don't cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we've had like we've had like cancel. Sold, like, oh my god, we had so many titles. We're like, we're getting canceled. Part three, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, part 18. Sometimes I feel like your guys' job is to like, we all like run towards the canceling ledge as fast as we can. Then yep. you guys hit the brakes perfectly, and yep. then the guests try to stop. And we're you're like, like whoa, good whoa, job, whoa. and then you hit them on the back, yeah. and they go, <laughs> they, they teeter the line. It's just like, hi, guests, go oh, have fun. That's why we feed you alcohol. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> well, I was drinking when I was recording my audiobook, and there's a whole hidden chapter in the audiobook of me mm. uh, reading out the list of the uh, the 1950s most racial racial slurs in the, in the hidden chapter. Wait, there's a racial slurs from the 1950s? Yeah, tons of them. Wait, like normal English words or mm -hmm. like ones yep. that were considered mm -hmm. bad? I don't like that Eli latched be. onto this. Yeah, because I, I saw the joke you were making. I was making a joke and then he made it serious yeah, and that and makes then, it and weird Eli, and I don't like yeah, it anymore. No, no, I'm with you. We can so cut that, that out. Oh, so, so where, where do I find We're going to put the <laughs> hidden secret thing in this podcast right now. That was Remember the, Wes Barker. That was meant to be silly and funny and totally obviously a joke. And that went, and Eli was like, how many can I learn? Eli's a magic spell. Somebody cut that one. I don't like how I'm sweating now. Yeah. Thank God for AI. That's why I sit on this side of the table. So glad. No. <laughs> Thank God for editing. Oh, I know yeah, AI exactly. and editing. I could, <laughs> I could oh upload the secret chapter yeah, and no, you no, wouldn't. No, 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 talk about it. <laughs> Don't put the idea out there. Okay, right. Shut up. My name's Matt Franco. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris Ramsey, for coming out to our podcast today. Thank you very much. Follow me at davidblaine.com. Uh, what it's really like to be a magician. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's trick two? <laughs> oh, you want another what trick? Are, All right. Well, are we only what, 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 bitch first. asshole piece of garbage. Thank you. Wow. The the oh the slingshot. Dude. I've been shooting that yeah. all yeah. podcast. Yeah. I know, but we haven't talked about the well, fucking slingshot. That batty. We all went I to think boy I mode. A second on it because Chris is his first. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. Chris, Chris Ramsey has a brand called First, so I, I went with second because second, second to none, obviously mm. to none. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a card slingshot. <laughs> so, I'm gonna hit the camera good oh yeah, yeah. Oh. oh god that was Damn. a great shot Batty, you almost hit that, that was really good camera you took out the tripod 
I'm, that was good. the first time Batty was actually accurate with that I, fucking I, thing. <laughs> impressed himself. <laughs> I love the fact that he was like, Teehee, this is fun. And then his it whole body went, bam. <laughs> and and it was, I saw it, it hit the fucking. I know. That was satisfying. your most accurate hit ever. It's satisfying. I'll no tell cat. you, for, I, I made a special promo code for unsubscribe. Did you know Did that? you? Yeah. So for the, come, for the car, car, card slingshots. Yeah. And the book, uh, 20% off for anyone who uses the promo code unsubscribe. We're going to switch oh, it to wait, come 20. Yeah, for real. I mean, it'd be oh, that's so kind of you. Yeah, so I'm nice. going to buy a slingshot. Yeah, definitely do. So I'll unsubscribe do this one or come 20. If you <laughs> switch, it, switch it to come, come 20 because people will use that. You got oh, it. Come wait. 20 it is. <laughs> hey, oh. How do you spell come? C-U-M? C-U-M. That was and cool. then 20, do you write the number? Or do no, you spell it? T. T. <laughs> 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 hey, you have to come 20 Dude. times and then type it whatever you want. <laughs> 20 times? Yes, sir. So for uh, our outer regs, it's C-U-M-T. The, <laughs> the men C U M two zero. I mean, I'll be able to use that promo code for like three days. You got to give me some time. Uh, Dude. Need time. So uh, unsubbed, uh, fucking outer regs is the men's grooming stuff. And uh, I'm part owner of that. And we put come 20 as a joke. All you fuckheads out there, that's all the discount code they use. <laughs> we and had they're like, like code unsubscribe, <laughs> code unsubscribe. Everyone's oh, like, oh my God. come 20? <laughs> come 20? <laughs> so always during like the, the owner's meetings, it's like, and come 20 is in first place, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Being used the most. <laughs> slowly was at Eli. Like, <laughs> hey, Eli. Yes. Do you like shopping online? Yes. Do you like downloading music or videos online? Yes. Do you also watch a lot of porn online? Yes. No. No. Well, you're probably using cognito mode for all that, right? Yes. It's totally safe. 100% safe. Not at all. What? Incognito mode won't help you at all. You need a VPN. You need ExpressVPN. Do you use ExpressVPN? Of course I do. I never want anybody to see what I'm looking at online. What do you look at online? My favorite thing to watch is... But that's okay because I use ExpressVPN to make sure all my browsing history and everything I do online is completely secure and safe. Lots of cheap and free VPNs actually make money by selling your data. ExpressVPN created a special technology called Trusted Server that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all. What? What is LightWave, a new VPN protocol used to create faster speeds than ever? I've tried many VPNs in the past and they usually slow my internet speed. But ExpressVPN is always blazing fast and allows me to stream HD videos with zero buffering. Ooh. The last thing that sets ExpressVPN apart from the rest, ease of use. You don't need any technical skills to set it up. You just log on, start the app, hit one button, and you're ready to go. And that's not just me and him saying it, that's CNET, Business Insider. The Verge in many other tech journals rate ExpressVPN number one in the world. So protect yourself with a VPN that we use in trust. So use our link below, expressvpn.com slash unsub and get three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash unsub. Mm, oh my <laughs> hey, God. it fucking works. That's all I got that was, a, uh, that was a good shot, by the way. That, that was, was awesome. A, Dude, shake hands. See? Dude, I didn't Pretty know good. he did magic. He does good magic. Dude, he does right? really I good do magic. bad magic. Why is it so warm? Where was this one? I'm pregnant. It's in Look, your pocket. I disappeared. <laughs> I'm always afraid when I'm around. Not in Texas. Texas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Batty, can you hand me the rest of those cards? Let me oh. see if I can. Th if I can You're not going to put a card in my ass, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Too late. Please put a card in Let's see ass. if we can do this. Because I've never shown you a magic trick. I don't have the whole deck here, so it's hard to do. Is it going to be one of those cool well, ones? I hate kids. <laughs> That's, That's the magic trick. trick. Yeah. Stop. He yeah, just wanted right. to say it. He puts the cards right. down. So fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> so I only have uh, uh, one trick I do for kids. Okay. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you what it is. Uh, but it's, it's stupid because I hate kids, but I have to do it because all my friends have kids. I got to do it. So I have, okay. to, I have to ask a few questions. So I go like, real quick. what's your, yeah, put it down. Sure. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Nice choice, buddy. Hey. See, it's very good. Um, what's your favorite dinosaur? I'm going to go Velociraptor. Velociraptor. That's a good choice, man. I'm so kids. good at so this. Silly. And how old are you? Enough. I don't remember me say that, but that's all right. Okay, fine. <laughs> normally, normally, if they answer me honestly. 20, 27. 27. Velociraptor Blue, 27. Mm. If they answer this correctly, like a football call out. normally I can guess what card they would pick. 
Okay. Like I said, I only do this for kids, but normally if they answer those three things correctly, I can guess what card they would name if they were to name a card. Okay. So name a card out loud. Oh, God. Uh, seven of hearts. Seven of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just for the kids. You just do this one just for the kids. <laughs> Just Please <laughs> catch my reaction when you're pulling it out because I can see it this time. That's why I was like, That's just I like just it. turned in last time because like, I just read fuck you on the card. I'm mad. Like, this is why I don't like magicians because, like, I, I know you, I know Chris. I, have, I love I've, that. that. I've watched awesome. so many magic trick too. bullshits because I, I enjoy that. I really do. And finally, being like, in person with magic, I'm always like, I'm gonna look for the yeah, thing. I'm gonna, cool. I'm gonna see. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. And I can't see a goddamn. Well, there's things. not even a trick with that one. Where so did you have? The, was it just in there? Okay. Where was the fuck you card? Oh yeah, it was sitting in there the whole time. Like I left it in that pack just to do that. Like I just left I, it. in Did there. you? Are yeah. you fucking with no, me? I left it in there. Yeah. Going deep, son. Bing bong. <laughs> I'm upset. I don't. It's get all it. subtle stuff. Like here, I'll show you. I can probably show you one more here with a full deck. Of cards How deep here. are your pockets? Do you just Pretty always deep. have a pack of cards in your pocket? This is they cool, have dude. Those are so actually they, legal weapons in his hands. <laughs> this is this is kind of <laughs> cool. So, um, Batty, uh, say say a card out loud for real. This Eight time. of clubs. Eight of clubs. Okay. See, now I'm holding the deck like this. You can see on here. Every deck has a little picture on the back. Yeah. And this one has the Ace of Spades. You yeah, said yeah, Eight yeah. of Clubs. I was sort of holding it like this when I asked you because sometimes you can subtly hint to people and they sort of subconsciously yeah, 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 yeah. ace I'm of spades or whatever. Though. But no, no, so you said eight of clubs, which is fine. It, it doesn't it doesn't always work, but I'll show you um I don't get all the fucking cards. If out those here. were all eight of clubs, we're gonna kill <laughs> yeah, you. No, we'll no, burn it, you on the stick. Won't, it won't be like that. Um no. but you can see we have uh, all the cards here. I mean yeah. you won't be able to see on the thing, but like what I'm gonna get you to do in a second, right? I see the is, is I'm gonna get you to uh touch the back of a card. I don't know if this is gonna work. We'll try. Wait, 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 I got this. I got this. <laughs> okay, can you get? Can we get the good angle? All right, we'll try it anyways. So, can you um here just touch the back? Okay. Okay. So you touch the back of one uh -huh. of these cards. I'm trying to speak in the mic at the same time. That one. This one here. Okay. Now it's all good. We're good. There you so go. like, so can you remember the card? Yep. Remember the card? Yeah. Remember the card? Yeah. I remember the card? Uh huh. Okay. So that one there. You just touch the back a bit. Yep. You didn't say Ace of Spades earlier like I wanted to. You said Eight of Clubs. You didn't touch the Eight of Clubs, obviously, because it was just a demonstration. So it's going to be... This one is a higher one. So it's going to be the Ten of Hearts. Do you stop there, right? <laughs> That's crazy, because I think you were influenced a bit by that. I think you... Can, can you turn over the box here? Because you were influenced a little bit by that, I think. What the fuck? No! Because the no, box, the picture no. on the box, the picture on the box is always influences you, like I said before. Gets you the influence. Wizardry! Gets you. This is where we hard cut to him being burnt at a stick. <laughs> no, we're going to hang the witch. Eli, we'll hang the witch, yeah, not we'll burn hang it. The witch. Oh my god. Pretty good, right? That's insane. Yeah. This is why I, gra I was like, Grant has to come to this. The magic show. This is we always bring yeah. like my YouTube. <laughs> dude, yeah. It's uh, so far we always have a, like a YouTuber that comes and fucking hangs out with yeah. the magician YouTubers. I am so YouTubers. sweaty right now. Dude, that's so Me cool. too. He because of his accents, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm How just afraid to get canceled <laughs> right now. <laughs> did you make what me the pick fuck? the ten of diamonds? It's all in the book. It's really not. That was not in the book. Don't, <laughs> no, don't, don't buy the book if really you want like that joke. Yeah. There you go. Don't I'm buy the book. Sued. Fuck that. No. He, he has his own book. He has a fucking grim war uh, in the back. It's true. Yeah. God, dude. Mm. What else did I plant around here? I can't remember. No, but no, I'm just joking. No, no, no. What you plant? What you plant? <laughs> the ace. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. To the ten. So that yeah. means okay. So okay, okay. It's so my buddy. So and, I was forced to pick the ten and ten of hearts. Okay, Daddy, stop. No, no. Like let's uh, let's work it out. You had one stroke already. We don't need a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You got it. it. No, I don't. Because like, I was like, I saw him kind of like he's fanning through the cards, and I'm like, okay, don't pick the one that looks like he's trying to make me pick. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. You you were pretty good about getting. Uh, but I knew you were gonna be like that because I've done magic read before. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, okay. <laughs> that means that means when I pick the card, you somehow so, sleight of hand that fucking what, the card you want yeah. me to see. It doesn't matter what card I picked. So there's like okay, check this so out. This is amazing. When you do sometimes when you try and get someone to pick a card because you are you are trying to force people a card sometimes. Yeah, yeah force. So a like, hand. but like I know I can tell the person in the group that isn't that guy. So I move the card I want them to pick to the top of the deck. 
And I go, here, pick one. I try and give them one. And they go, hmm. And they grab the top one because they're outsmarting me. And I'm just like, oh, one step ahead. And it's just, it's so beautiful. I don't make that noise out loud. I did that in my head. That would be a bad <laughs> magician. Oh. This, this, yeah, I got this, it. Like, <laughs> this right here was me and Batty after you did that. Batty didn't get to see it, so he's like, I'm left out. No, I did. Yeah. I, I, I lived. Oh, I'm so still funny. uncomfortable. <laughs> Every goddamn God. whiz, I just like I don't get it. So like he 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 made me pick the ten diamonds somehow or the ten hearts. He deep throated a balloon. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's still in there. Yeah. Well, Grant, you didn't see him deep throat a balloon. This thing was like yeah, but you were, yeah twenty four inches. His name was Grant. <laughs> <It's> another Grant. <laughs> yeah, it was. But he was just like. Gah, 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 gah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did he turn into Popeye for a second? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that, those are tumors. Is that all I'm remembered for? <laughs> <laughs> How you've survived this long is actually nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> oh my, oh. And that speech impediment is because you had a stroke two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing about is is Popeye is that? Do you guys know the lore about that? Like, like the spinach is like booze. That's why when he drinks it, he feels like he's tough and he fights everybody. Yeah, he's uh, making shit up. This sounds like some Canadian propaganda. Well, yeah. it sounds like he chugs <laughs> a fucking thing of spinach, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, "I'm ten feet tall and bulletproof." Well, he starts fighting spinach. everybody. He's I've never, healthy. I've never seen him. I've never like seen anybody like Deep full on dive. like chew sp uh, alcohol though. I've never seen anyone. Oh, but yeah? Yeah, yeah. Why do you got to do that? Why did he That's how he, he, he's like, well, why did you have to make the fucking... You're right. Bad, so bad, then bad, I was bad, like, bad. all right, That's this is what happens to these people. They're so crazy. Whoever talks the most sounds the craziest. So I'm like, let him talk. And let's not, let's not be like, change our mind. We'll change our mind. And let's be like, tell talk. us why you think this. So yeah. we Encourage it. We let him talk. And oh. you see me and Chris like, dude, he, he makes these... He's, Whack ass arguments, and he's talking about this, and he's just doing math wrong, talking about compressions, blah blah blah, all the bullshit. Where I'm, I threw out a couple questions, like no, 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 and he's like batting him down with his whack ass science. And then at one point, Chris and I started to sit there listening to each other, <laughs> listening to him go off, and then and then he starts going on. And he has like all these uh, visuals ready to go. He's pulling them up, and he's he like, brought a PowerPoint. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's like he's like look at this. He's like you see this right here? What's that? Zoom in, flip this, and he like zooms in on a logo on a shirt on NASA. Flip it upside down. Cut this part out. What does that look like? We're like, I don't know what you're doing. And he's like, he's like doing Photoshop in real time. And we're like, I don't know. He's like, looks like uterus. We're like, okay, cool. I don't understand. He's like, uterus. Look at this, dick, dick. This is a dick. That's a penis. Here's a dick. And he starts going on this dick rant for like eight minutes. For like, what is happening? He's like, here's a dick. There's a dick. Dicks everywhere. And we're like, I'm like, hey man, can we get back to flat Earth? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but the billionaires, man, it's all a big sex game to them. And we're like, what is happening? <laughs> and, and then, and then he just like for like. 20 minutes, I'm not joking, he kind of convinced us, not convinced us, but like... <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong uh, statement? Like, he he was making... Um, valid arguments? He was making somewhat valid... Like, if you did math wrong, you'd understand. What he, he'd be like, oh, this is kind of good. Right? But then he goes <laughs> off you were hitting the head with a block of cement. Deep end. He starts going insane. He's like, he's like, yeah, the Earth's flat, but it's like, it's not, it's not like just like a disc in space. It's bigger than this. They just have us fenced off, and behind this is like, the billionaires have free energy, and, and it's, it's, it's bliss and utopia and all this stuff. It was the most enjoyable 90 minutes I've ever gone through. And Chris was like, really loving it. For me, I was actually... I say enjoyable, Utopia. but like, no, no, for the last 45 minutes, I was fucking irate because I, I I couldn't hold that. I was just like started going insane back yeah. in the sky because it was absolutely. And then finally we stopped the podcast and Chris and I just got to like debrief each other. But like Chris was very good at listening to him, partly because I think Chris maybe believed a little bit more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but like I got fucking insane. But anyways, if you have a chance to interview a flat earther, fucking take it. It will be tiresome and hard and stressful, but like, you know. Like, I deal with I mean, Eli like, every day. Yeah, exactly. So you, yes, like like talking to Eli every day. <laughs> every yeah, day. same thing. It's like talking Earth to Eli, flat, flat earthers going to war, yeah. right? <laughs> it's in that order, right? Of stress <laughs> levels. So, yeah. No, you don't know anything about it. You've only been to war. You've never talked to yourself, mm, and you've true. never talked to a flat earther. <laughs> you don't think I talked to myself. Oh, okay, well, you still <laughs> keep you've that flat earther, man. You've got one more level to go. It blew my fucking mind. I can't believe how we got on this topic. Oh, yeah, bottom of the barrel. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's correct. Oh man, Phil. we've never had like a conspiracy theorist <laughs> or a flat earth. It's hard, on. man. Because as you said, like you, there's no winning the argument. My nope. favorite doc is that one where they tried to prove the Earth <laughs> is flat, and they're like, "We'll use this laser, and at a certain distance, 
will go this far, and if the world's curved, <laughs> it will be higher. But we know it's not, so it will hit right where we're holding it. Raise Yo. it up. <laughs> it's not hitting. Go up higher. It Go up higher. It. Oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just ends right there. So I, I brought yep. it up. I brought it up to this guy, and he and I brought that up to this guy, and this guy goes like, "Oh yeah, they cut it too early. They cut it too early. It turns out, turns out, um, uh, there was something in the way blocking it. Oh my god! And, and he's like, he's like, we only we only had to raise it up like seven or eight feet, and he's like, and at that distance, we were technically should have had to raise it twenty five feet or whatever. And he's like, so you know, like, there's something in the way blocking it. It's like, it's hard to explain right now without showing you, but like, no, it totally disproved. They just cut it off too early in the documentary. Yeah, I know. What was I'm like, oh, the cool, way. the flat earther documentary. They cut it off too early to not prove their own point. Mm. And he's like, no, no it's a whole, total hit piece, false flag. I was like, okay, false yeah, flag. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> false, false, flag, flag, yeah. 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 false flags, false flags, steel beams melt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, every now and then, every now and then he would drop like some of his other weird shit he believes. You know, there's never one. If like if they believe in one, I, oh, like yeah. a flat earther. If he was like, yeah, I believe in flat earth. Guys, have you read about the new chicken trigon- like trigonometry data coming out? Yeah. You're like, oh, well, okay, I'm really <laughs> yeah. hold the, the math. Uh, uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? You're. Mm-hmm. I love Neil deGrasse Tyson. I just don't believe in his. You're like best way to stump these fools. I found, and that's why I started. I'm like, I can't beat him with my my videos and his videos. Mm. He'll just be like, yours are fake, mine are real. Okay. My math, his math. Your math wrong. My math right. <laughs> That's not how math works, but okay, right? And then, and then, <laughs> and then and so then I was like, I was like, all right, how about this? I'm like, give me a motive. Why? Why would they be trying to cons- convince yeah, why us the fuck that it's fucking care? round? And he doesn't have a compelling motive. His motive, his motive sounds like. Um, the government, like the government, billionaires are living in Valhalla, and they keep us here for no apparent reason, <laughs> right? Like it's fucking crazy, right? It's like all weird shit. I, I don't know. I make, I don't even. Holy is Valhalla, shit. good or bad? I don't know. My I don't this know. is a Viking. Guy. Yeah, I well, don't know. that's always the thing. It's but, like why the fuck would of all things we're like yeah. the Earth is flat? It's like that's well, what I, that's what we're trying to like, control. I'm a yeah. fucking idiot, man. I am dumb as shit. But come on. Well, flat around this guy's world doesn't change at all. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you live in your basement. You do an interview every day trying to convince people it's fucking flat. I'm like, you never even been to fucking Australia, right? Like, you never even seen all of this. Okay, I'll give you it. Fuck it. Everything you said is right. We live in a little fucking tiny disc. They're all fenced us in. Cool. You've never even been to all of it. It's not like they're leaving you in a room, eight by eight, right? Like, you've never even been to all this disc. You'll never see all, all this, this disc. disc. So go fuck yourself. Oh, what do you care? They've never flown. Here's here's my thing also. Yeah. The, yeah. Get on a plane. Yeah. I circumnavigated. <laughs> I went last month. I went fucking. <laughs> ben, I went Toronto to Ireland to London to Japan to Vancouver back to Toronto. Fuck you. I went all the way around. I saw all of it. I, I kept my eyes open. I looked out the window. I, I counted. I you see the curvature. Do they think like oh, every pilot's a conspiracy? I got very stressed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> That's the thing they do. They're like. And I, they all look like you when you meet a flat earther, they look like a flat earther. Yeah. I'm it's just, like a Magic yeah. the Gathering tournament, which, oh, bro. Like when you go into. Why it, you gotta say that? Fatty. <laughs> Uh, this guy was my great. MTG community. I love you. I love magic. When I go to play, it's sometimes y'all need to wear deodorant. So but my favorite part was homeboy walking. Batty, remember when we were playing that long game? I walk out to go to the restroom. There's just an awkward dude walking towards me with, I, I don't know what's right here. And he's doing this. I was like, is he praying? And as I got closer, I noticed this was vomit and he's carrying it somewhere. Whoa. Not towards the bathroom though, because I'm going towards the bathroom. He's like, I'm okay. <laughs> he walked by me and he just has vomit and he's just cupping it. I was like, Oh, yeah, his earth is flat, dude. <laughs> 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 the guy's got the flat fucking so earth. On that, on that <laughs> said, no, we were just at DreamHack in Dallas. There was a Magic oh, the Gathering section. It was fucking awesome. Weird. It did have a bit, a bit of a smell to it that the rest of the convention didn't have. We went Ooh. to, on Sunday, the last day, we went to an anime convention. Mm. It was in a, a, a smaller area, but it was like four stories tall. It was really high. The top floor was the gaming, like the PC games, and like the, uh, uh, they had like all the Dance Dance Revolution, the arcade. Yeah. Like the, the anime arcade game tough stuff. The smell when you <laughs> got off the escalator onto that floor was like a visible Eli. Seven, eight times worse than Magic Gathering. It was the mo- it was worse oh, than a dope. gym locker room. Oh. But that was my favorite text from you because I was like, how's the convention? And Bad News was like, big anime titties. I was like, that's a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> that, was that was the, the only floor, text right? I got. I was like, 
was like, great. oh, that's a dope ass yeah, tech. Sounds like a great <laughs> call. <laughs> I was like, enjoy yeah. it, bud. <laughs> nice. That was the first floor. Uh, the second floor and third floor were like meeting rooms and panels. The fourth floor was just like a lot the of like dungeon. Bro, reverse was, dungeon. You flew clue too close to the sun, man. Like mm. we left, and as mm -hmm. we were leaving, we're walking outside, and then we heard some girls explaining the con to her friend. She was like, "Just don't go to the top floor. It's real stinky up there, bro." It was <laughs> the worst smell. I man, now I'm there was a this. it it was because they had a bunch of like the movement games like DDR and oh, all. Oh yeah. So so even worse, you had all the nerds yep. sweating and then going and sitting at PCs and like playing fucking League of Legends and shit. And and gross. Why? Again, why? Though, why be? Why be gross and sweaty though? And gross. Have you ever gross. been to an MG no. Magic the Gathering? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go to it's, adventure. It's. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to be cool like that. I want to know. You I'll know, you regular magic. We'll teach you real magic. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like I literally, <laughs> I literally, I, literally, I tried to get into that and end up doing fucking card tricks. I'm like, I want to learn magic. <laughs> you can you never play Magic the Gathering with this motherfucker. He he top deck every oh my best God. card I in the game. game. You could cheat like a motherfucker. Dude, it's so fucked up. People don't understand. Even even uh, I got hired to do a. Uh, a scene for the the show Riverdale or whatever, and they mm -hmm. wanted a guy a guy to be like a blackjack dealer, but he's a crooked dealer and he's doing like all these like gambling deals and whatever. And I was like, okay, so they hired me to do it, and I'm doing all these like sneaky deals, and they're like, yeah, we can't see it on camera. I'm like, yeah, no, I know, <laughs> yeah, no shit. And like, I'm like, mm -hmm. and they're like, well, I'm like, well, I don't know what you what do you want me to do? Like, this is how. What do you think you can see it? Like, I, I don't <laughs> you know. Even you like. That's the point. Like, like, and visually pull it out from the and back. And you can just see like the director and all the people up, uh, all at once just be like, oh yeah, we're fucking idiots, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the script they wrote on paper makes no sense because yep. the camera will not see this. So I had to do these like obnoxiously flashy fucking yeah, like, yeah. showing the camera like, eh? Uh, Wait. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's uh, like flipping. The car's like, Spinning in there, you catch oh, yeah. it, slide it up top. Yeah. You gotta get exactly those action that. shots. You gotta <laughs> yeah. get the cinematic shots. So if you make me play fucking any Magic the Gathering card, I will fuck you for sure. No <laughs> question. And then I will cheat at the cards. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wonder, what, wonder what I find magical since we were talking about the Flat Earth things. They, are, they always talk about the same things like we're fenced in. Oh. I have never, ever. By white. Ever. Had one flat earther on any forum in real life anywhere. Show me where the fence is. Yeah. Where's the fence? Show me a photo, you fucking idiots. Where's the fence on the supposedly this grand fence on the Show edge of the, the world? Fence. Yeah. It's like the uh, was Game Print of Thrones. Boat, brother, just go. Yeah. Yeah. The Game of Thrones. What was that? The, the wall. The wall. Literally the wall. The wall. It's just but a, that's what they you can remember it that. Out. Yeah, they fucking, think it's just a bit because that was one PTSD of the PTSD as being Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> the wall. Yeah, like, ah, ah, ran away from right. it. Well, that's one of the that was one of the arguments because at first people were like, "Well, if it's a fence, freaking why? If the Earth is flat, why isn't all of our water just spilling into space?" And they're like, "Well, there's a wall," and I'm like, "Who? Who built this wall? And why has no one seen it?" And also, I, I get back to they gave us so much Earth then yeah. I couldn't care less. Yep. I've been to 31 countries. I will never get to the other 170, wherever the fuck there is. Yep. You're not going to get to 200 countries in your life. You're never going to get there. And and most of the ones I've been to, I've touched down and run around for three days. I haven't even seen all of it. You'll never see all the Earth. So they gave us way too much space to play in. I don't give a fuck. But it could it's be like infinite a thick space. disc. Like we dig, we dig real deep a lot. Oh. How does that work? Oh, oh dude. Wait. <laughs> do you think? Do you think they think the Earth is flat because they have smooth brains? Oh, there we go. Smooth like that. It no think. Yes. It no think. Ape think strong right. together. Right. <laughs> Devolve to monkey. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we start walking this, just like this again. <laughs> this guy, this guy was fucking ready for us. Actually, I gotta say, I yeah. Go back to this guy real quick. He was like, because Chris and I had recently just met Chris Hadfield. He's a fucking Canadian icon, astronaut. Been yeah. in space so much time. Right? I like you'll say his name. You will not give the flat earther fuck? any oh. <laughs> credit. Just, like, no. fuck Google him. a flat earther. Who cares? They're all the same. So this guy. Uh, so he's like, we like mentioned, like we met Chris Hatfield and we asked him about living in space and like he didn't lie to us. We could tell. Yeah. And then and then he's like, and he hits because we're doing this on Zoom, right? And he hits this button and these fucking those like glasses come down. The cool guy glasses. Like, Cool story, bro. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, and then he, and then he's like this, and like a fucking montage, like to to his point, pretty fucking dope. He's like, <laughs> here's photos of Chris Hatfield, do 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 do, and they start coming in, and he's like, he and they're, he's like, this one's green screen. Look at the wire, like he had it, like it was, like he knew we were gonna say it. 
And he, as soon as we said, he hit a button and he just went on this like nine minute tirade of like, just like, see the wire, see the wire, this, that, green screen. Oh, pen goes through his face, green, this, that. Like, look at this, that, that. He's looking in the wrong place. And not, I'm not going to lie, that was part of the podcast. I'm like, well, we should not have mentioned Chris Hadfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let's get back to math. <laughs> these are pretty good videos. <laughs> look at this imaginary <laughs> equation Chris you got Hadfield going on. Chris was definitely in a pool on this one. <laughs> you started doubting I'm yourself. Like, hey. like, he has a point. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that is pretty good video. Wait, wait, wait. Let him cook. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, explain this one. I'm like, well, they're your videos, dude. I don't know what you did. He's, He's like, like, no, they're what? NASA videos. I'm like, all right. Man. All right, bud. Cool. Okay. I'm going to go like travel anywhere and be happy. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Did we go on the I'm moon? I'm going to go look him? at a mountain real quick. Bro. Did we, did we visit the moon for? Not no. The, mm, Jesus no. Christ, are you? <laughs> That's a whole nother. So <laughs> the moon and the sun are local. Like they just rotate around. They're not very big. They're not that high up. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're like you they're can, that spot. <laughs> they're literally, they're that spot. Like they float around like they're not. They're like you know tens of thousands of feet in the air, but they're not that high. Of course, yeah. And the moon, so it's all it's all bullshit, dude. It's, <laughs> Like we're fucking fools, all of us, and this guy knows the truth. He the figured, title, the he title's figured. gonna be Wes Barker's a flat earther for this episode. <laughs> it's all in the book. It's all in the book. I tell you. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I know. Just have him on Flat Earth Dave. I'll shout him out. Fuck it. Flat, flat Earth. Flat Earth. Dave. Flat Earth. <laughs> <laughs> You guys already guessed his name. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, not doctor. <laughs> Anything. No. Just flatter day. FED, man. He's a he fucking He lives in fed. his parents' fucking basement. No, like. he's, got a, he's got over 100,000 subs. He has an app that he runs. has 100,000 people on it. They pay $3 a month to be on it. The guy Whoa, probably flat. makes... Half a million a year, you, flat earth in it. So do I don't even know if he believes it. <laughs> yeah, do you think he walks in? He's like, thank you, thank you. He's like, fucking idiots. He yeah. kicks off oh, his dude. robe, gets on his private jet, flies I think to maybe, wherever. Yeah. Flies yeah. around the globe and just laughs. laughs. <laughs> Look at the curvature. <laughs> One direction, peasant. same location. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But his wife walked in the background one time, flat titties. I'm like, I get it. You know, <laughs> I was like, I, circles aren't real. I'm like, she's pretty hot still. We I don't get do it. mounds. I, here. I believe that. Yeah, you know for sure. It's funny. Circumferences <laughs> don't appeal to me. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. Oh yeah, Diablo Four. Who's playing it? Real uh, quick. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Me and Batty are. I'm almost to a Paragon level. I'm 47, 48. So I'm almost to you. 40. And Wait, then, you're 47. Yeah. Mm, and you're 52. Ooh. Oh, how? And moving up. I'm not gonna stick there. Yeah. And then what game are you playing right now? Oh, fucking Magic. flat earth. I gotta learn this shit, man. I gotta flat earth. Play my cards. Sorry. It's like King of Spades. <laughs> oh, you're getting good at this. That's freaking me out. That's freaking me out. That's freaking me out, everybody. Oh! Like, ding! It was a Diablo 4 is the only game I've been playing in a long time. Let me see these. Let me see these. Don't, no, no. don't. talk about Diablo Four. No, I just talk about Diablo Four. Eat your protein bar. Eat your protein. <laughs> bar. <laughs> fucking weirdo, just eating on the podcast. Um, um, yeah, whoever do that. Um, he's ate on the. That's okay, why I was looking yeah, at him. Yeah, I know. See, I was making a joke. Him. Blame him. I, Batty, blame him better. Make a joke, Batty. Where's the Mexican holy water? <laughs> Mexican holy Tequila? water. Tequila. We got that right here. Thank you, sir. No, Diablo 4 is like, I have, we talked about it quickly because we have to maintain being a gaming podcast. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> we're at, I hit you guys 40 last night. Yeah, what? we're always top one, two, and three in the world of gaming. Which For, is nuts. We've never once talked about gaming in the no, four we, times I've been on this podcast. Yeah, you guys speak of Four button. times? Three times? Three, three times. times. I was say, I don't, did I black out? <laughs> oh, sorry. But he's like, that's, I mean, it's possible. Sometimes it's I listen to you guys at home and I'm like, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. And I, I say things, you know, I talk, I mean, Chris, oh. my wife's like, stop we talking. We wish you were there. But yeah, we had, uh, we're, we're, we're technically a gaming podcast. What was the other? <laughs> anime. And we're in the top five in the world in anime podcast now. Which is That nuts. was a new one. That was a new one. We recently got put into that top five category. That didn't make any sense to me, but I was like. Demon Slayer, anime titties, hentai. Bizarre. Let's go. Let's go. We're done. We don't need to talk about anime for the rest yeah, of the podcast. That's great. Let's check the box for Big us. Big ass anime. We talk about Japan. Yeah, yeah, right. anime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we hit our quota. That's anime, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're good. Hundred percent quota. Okay. And then you get Diablo. You just touch base. You're like, fucking great game. If you haven't played it, go get it. It's the first time I'm actually motivated to play it. I get excited going home yesterday. What's your level? All forty. 
I'm we, we got a sorcerer, a barbarian, and a necromancer. Yeah. Dude. And a wizard. Mm-hmm. The, this, I, mm-hmm. are you... Mm. See, I'm saying we got a right sexy ass party right there. Mm. We got a sexy. Wes is like, I don't know what they're talking. about. I, 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 I have to buy a computer. I literally, I literally once I get this three thousand dollar appearance fee, I'm buying a computer. I'm gonna start gaming right now, today. I'm gonna go to Blockbuster, Red Diablo Four, and I will find <laughs> Red Diablo, Diablo Four. I'm gonna rent that Diablo Four. It means Mexi or fat chicken in Spanish. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, if you haven't done gaming, do you game much? No, I don't. I never have. I don't know how to. I never knew how to start. And then once I sort of had the understanding mm. of what it was. Um, I'm like, I, I'm too old to do yeah. this. I felt like yeah. he was older than you. I know, but like, he's always been cooler. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, was, I was literally hoping that the words would come to me and then they failed. You know me. what? You're, you're like, pretty I, cool. I, all right? you're a cool I have enough magician. things to do, I guess, that I just, I feel like I'm not a loser. What if I like it? No, I, I'm afraid to like it because then, then oh, what am I going to squeeze in on my drinking? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you can drink while gaming. Oh, yeah, well, that, as a matter of fact, it's great. I think I, I don't know. I just don't know where to start. It's like I didn't do a single drug until I was 31. Not a single anything. Was that a rough year for you? Mm. It's been great ever since. <laughs> <laughs> My family would say it's been sad and bad, <laughs> but I think it's been wonderful. I've tried That's the all whole that matters. Uh, like, like, yeah, I literally, cares? I was just like, I was like, I've gone so fucking far, and now what am I gonna do? In the last six years, I've been trying all the drugs. Maybe I'll try gaming too now. I don't know. Fuck but like, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I had such a narrow, grew up on a farm. We didn't even Drink have a fucking weed, TV. Drink some weed, play Yeah, and just nice. very specific. You know, oh, yeah. Let's both go. Grew up on farms. So then when you got we're, out of the farm, cool. you're like, I'm going to fucking see what the world has to offer. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. farm life. But now I pay for it. Like, I didn't know what else mm, to do. So. Yeah. 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 See, that's. And then we all joined the military. <laughs> See, all, I, all, see, I should have done that. Us. No, you're that. you're a veteran, right? You came in with your army uniform on. I was uh-huh. like, thank you for your service. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's no, a, uh, he's I, stolen valor right here. I would just get you in trouble in America. <laughs> they just yeah. cancel you instantly. No, he's that's like, my no. new Netflix special out there. It's called Stolen Valor. It's a magician <laughs> show. Yeah. No, it's going to go he super viral. He talks about his book. You should buy it. Russ Barker, uh, uh, Africa mm-hmm. Dumbass. Yeah. Come 20. Get 20% off. Come 20 times. Send me the video. Give you 100% off. Uh, <laughs> ooh, should have said that. Yeah, send it to Batty. Hold you to that. Yeah, someone will. Ah, I don't give well, you know what? That is magical, and I think you, as far as magician goes, you are the ace of hearts in this group. In <gasps> fact, oh, wow. check Thank your pocket. You. My pocket? Yeah, my pocket. Which one? Oh, this motherfucker just put pocketed me with the ace of goddamn hearts. That was really good. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah. Check your butthole. <laughs> then you would have been more impressed. You'd be like, it's no, that's my not- dick. <laughs> it's not until after. One, one, time, one, time, one time I was doing a, a corporate event where you like just get hired to walk around and do bullshit. And fuck yeah, with yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I was walking around doing all, and I'm feeling pretty good. I've been lighting people up pretty good. And then I get to this one group, do this card trick, grab the card. Is this yeah. your card, miss? She's like, no. And I look at it. Sure enough, it's not her card. Yeah. And I'm like, we'll take this and put it under your pillow. And tomorrow, it'll change into your card. She's like, thanks. And she walks away. I grab her husband. <laughs> find her card. I'm like, you know what to do. You know what to do. <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't think anything of it. I just, we had a laugh. W- walks away. I do the rest of the night. Next day, I wake up to an email like fucking this long. He's like, bro, she's freaking out right now. Like, she thinks <laughs> that you came into her house last night. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you tell her if you want. Like, you know, <laughs> don't ruin your marriage on this. <laughs> it was the greatest magic trick I never got to see. Yeah. The greatest magic trick I never watched. Dude, long. I bet she was. Fl- he broke into her yeah. house. Yeah. Steven. We're changing the locks. Oh, he was security. in our place of love. Yeah. Steven. He yeah. violated yeah. us. <laughs> and we're still in <laughs> fuck, fuck Wes Barker. <laughs> like, and you know that yeah. man just like inside dying laughing, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, did I make a mistake? Yeah, no, he ripped his pants open and everything. He's like, I think he got me too. <laughs> like, he, he lied, he lied right to her. He, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's I got to I got to pulls out your book and goes, we got to know how we did it. <laughs> Speaking of happily uh, married people, I said I would tell this story on the podcast because uh, right. somebody uh, sent me the greatest Ooh. DM I've ever received of my life. Justin, you're wonderful. Uh, he sent me a message. I read it while we were uh, eating dinner. He said, Theoret- theoretically, if someone were to have their ex-wife's Pokemon collection from their late 90s and send it to a P.O. box you had access to, would you be interested in? 
This motherfucker <laughs> so has his ex-wife's Pokemon card collection and was like, yo, you want this shit? She stole my magic cards when we got a divorce. Fuck her. I'm like, you good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I want them. Well, but yeah. like, also, is everything okay? Why not just burn it, film it, and send it to He's her? He's been hanging on to these cards for five years. Dude, like... He loves her still. After the... <laughs> <laughs> let her go, bro. Let her go. The PO That's box what he's doing. Right. He has to let him go. I'm helping him move on. You, I'm, you I'm are, a therapist. Send him to Batty. We'll take him over the ice wall. Who did... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Dude, who was oh, that? Shit. Were you around with the one person that just got those Pokemon cards from the 90s? They were like first first gen. It was on a fucking email or he found them on Facebook Marketplace. He just DM'd him. He's like, hey, are these cards still available? Yeah. You want them? They were first gen, like all fucking sleeve perfect. Like mm -hmm. at all of them. Like first, first. And he's like, how much? He's like, oh, I'm just giving them away. I just need them out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, if you hold on to them, I'll be there today. Yeah, a lot of people are emailing me about, yeah, ignore them. I'll pay you if they, they offer money, though. He went and got him. He was fucking, he had like Charizards, everything in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a shitty person. <laughs> yeah. Should real have sh paid them real money. Why? She didn't know. <laughs> yeah. That's where the shitty person part comes in. <laughs> That's what I was saying. No, but you can be like, hey, how even, much is this worth? Yeah, even I don't know. I would go, I'd just go pick them up too. So that's the thing though. Okay, so as, as, an, you know? as an expert on this topic, I would say none of it's worth fucking dog it's ass. It's this. Unless you get shit graded. You're yeah. never going to find that $500,000 million card. It does, that doesn't exist uh, unless it's it's what's called graded. like pack fresh. I mean, you would have to open the pack, sleeve it, put it away safely, and then mail that shit up to get upgraded. Because a nine is not worth $500,000. A nine, which is like the next uh, step down from like a perfect yeah, 10. Yeah is worth maybe $20,000, $50,000, which right. don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of money, but to even get a nine or a 10 is so unrealistic from like an old collection. Realistically, you're looking at like a five or a seven, which is like There's only bucks. five 50 bucks. hollow Charizards. Wrong. You're a thousand like percent wrong. Level 10? Or 10, 10 rating, there's only like five. No, you're them. wrong. You're right. more, um, you're first, so, a hundred percent. You are so unbelievably wrong. Mm. There are hundreds of them that are rated tens. What was it? Uh, which which one? Because there's two. First edition Shadowless Charizard. Yeah, the but who are the two classifications? Between Gary V and uh, Logan Paul are the only ones with a no. majority. Of no, they so have Pikachu illustrators, which there's only 20 of in the world. Or like 26 of or 19 of. There's another Charizard that they have. There's only like rated by that company because Logan Paul. I mean, okay, maybe popped. BCG, which it doesn't that matter. That was it. BCGs are the 10 yeah, rated. But like, I'll look up a price. Stock, yeah, like no, 500, that doesn't matter. I had, I had no. a friend hand me his... Um, he has a nine point whatever of a, it's not, it's a Superman comic, mm -hmm. one of one, whatever. Oh, dude, and it, he, he, he paid $1.4 million for it and he handed it to me and I was holding it. It's a rich friend. And oh, yeah, I know. He's, he's my billionaire friend. Oh, okay. And I was like, I was looking at him being like, ah, I, I don't understand why this is. I was like, cool. And he's like, do you want a photo with it? I'm like, okay, because I can tell you want to take a photo with it. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Thank you. And I'm like, this is neat, but I don't understand what I'm looking at. 124 perfect tens. 124. That's way more than five. Yeah, it's way more. What do you say to that? <laughs> that's why I'm wrong. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> uh, that's why I tell you. Like, people think know. there is like this such shortage. Like there's a lot more. I mean, than 120 is still pretty. But only five of them have E. coli. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> that's true. Salmonella. True. Salmonella. Fucking Christ. Sorry. And that's, again, that's just I'll one company. There yeah. are. At this point, yeah, there's five like major grading companies. Yeah. And, and that's just one that has 124. Sure, there may only be five with another company, but that doesn't mean it's any more rare. It just means nobody sends it to that company because they're not worth shit with that label. It, it, people look for cards graded by certain companies, and that's mm. where they're worth more. Like magic cards graded really aren't worth as much. Sure, you can find some like the Black Lotus is worth $500,000, but the majority of magic cards are worth more raw. 20 to 40 and... And it's only specific cards, and then they vary on mm -hmm. if they're playable or not. Like, Speaking of, sounds like cards. cryptocurrency to me. Well, uh, it, the dude, fuck, they're card magic trading cards are the original NFT. Like, right. Okay. That's all it is. Ah, uh, that so makes sense. Actually, Magic the Gathering is releasing a Lord of the Rings set, and they are doing one, one singular card, a one of one, a gay Lord of the Rings, gay Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's happy. Uh -huh. It dances. Uh -huh. It's. It's Mary. So Magic's been doing this thing where they release serialized cards. Like it will say like one out of 500 or one out of 700, one out of 900, whatever. They're doing a one of one card that is going to be the one ring from like the Lord of the Rings series. 
Um, and they're just supposed to be just dropping it into circulation. And as of right now, there's a million dollar bounty on the card. It doesn't come out till June 23rd. That's when the set releases. Holy like, shit. Like, what I like, I, I, there's no, how do you release a card like that into circulation without people knowing where exactly the region, the distributor, the carrier, the store it's yeah. going to? Like, there's the uh, I think MTG will know, or Wizards of the Coast will know, of course, exactly. Well, I mean, Wizards that, will know, the distributor will know, the yeah. factory where it was printed will know. Oh, yep. yeah, what the fuck? How the Wizards do? actually might go grab it and then do it secret. How do you secretly do that? Well, it's what do you, eh. you, like realistically, we can't do secret. Like any person is going to be compromised, right? Is that what you're saying? Every That's single the hardest part. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is a card that mm-hmm. is already. It's not even really. It's going to be a fucking five. You have to there are hundreds of hundred thousand dollar bounties on it. Oh my god! Like multiple people offering hundreds of thousand dollars, and there's one company already offering a million dollars for it's a card that out. isn't even out yet. Holy there is zero. Fuck. There's no Just way this, this and it is made from this. It is worth a million. Imagine that. Just because they're printing a single fucking magic card that is special that has a and gold serialized. stamp on it. Yeah. This is one of one. Like, one million. I guarantee that gets to dude in a it's decade. Gonna be, that's going to go, like a go to Joe to Wizard of the Coast Sun. Like like yep. how yeah you, right. How does, think of like the we talked about this before the monopoly game for McDonald's for the longest time. Yep. Where all of the winners for like fucking seven years were the friends of somebody who worked at a factory because he gave them the pieces. Yep. That was a whole... Ha- like, Shindig. Pokemon cards is going through a huge issue where people that have been working at factories have been stealing hits or have been taking special sheets of yep. certain cards. Like, how do you... Like, I, this car I, is going to exist in a, in a vacuum and a, comp- a, a fucking vaulted car is going to drive to a factory. They're going to put it in a pack. That pack is going to be randomized with other packs. No. We it's need gonna, AI, man. <laughs> like, how is do you it, realistically I, I do hope, that? I hope... AI hey, hope. A child gets it at five years old. Shits Yay! on it. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks away. And, <laughs> and it's an unboxing video of Eli, it. Why so does the child have like to be autistic? Million <laughs> yeah. Why does the child have to be autistic, Eli? Because my son has influenced me in all aspects of life. True. So, <laughs> I picture all children as autistic. <laughs> I'm not gonna that one. That, that's that one. Thank hey, you for watching the podcast. Like so yes. Eli doubled up myself by the streams. Of course, your narrator yep. and Wes Barker. Please, he's got a new book out. Uh, Africa dumbass. Go check it out. Where? Westbarker.shop. Ooh. Use code come twenty or unsubscribe. Both uh, save you a little bit of money. Also, where can we find you, nor- your narrator? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Your narrator on YouTube or the boys. Perfect. Boys.store. Thank you very much. Ooh. We'll see you on Patreon for the after show. Uh, otherwise, go away. Oh,